fighting the dead sea seems be very careful. Don't let soap enter into their nose. Don't let water enter into their nose. When you are bathing them, there's a way they used to bend it before in the olden days. They would bend their hands, mm. bend their legs, you know. They would roll their head. You know? They are trying to shape it and all that. Yes. Some of those things are injurious to health. And so please, it's not saying that we encourage anymore. Professor Ogo, are you saying that our mothers who for hundreds of years have been pressing head, bending hand, uh, uh, those practices uh, should not be encouraged right now in the 21st century? The babies of nowadays are different. The children of nowadays are different. When you are bending hand and bending leg, be careful, that's all I'm saying. Mm. If you can do away without it, please do away without it. But if you, if you must do it, make sure you're doing it in a way that will not harm the baby. Babies that died because somebody was pressing them. Wow. Babies that died because soap entered their nose when they were giving, 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 giving a bath. So let's be careful. That's all I'm saying. So how, how, so how, how should you... I, I'm, I'm curious. Well. Thank you. Don't misunderstand me. I'm thanking you all for what you're doing. I'm just saying that in doing your move, please don't put our mothers and our babies at risk. Thank you. I, I, I'm curious. So, if you don't, ba- are you saying uh, they shouldn't bait the uh, baby with soap? What exactly? How should they? I should said be? when you are baiting, don't let soap enter their nose. Okay. You can bait with soap. It's up to you. Yeah, sometimes we even tell them in the first one week, don't use soap. You mm. understand? Just clean your baby. There's even a new. Um, a new, what we are saying newly, when you, when you deliver newly, you don't clean anymore. You know, usually when you deliver, they clean the baby with olive oil and they remove all those, all those things from the baby's skin yes. and so on. I'm just saying that in whatever you're doing, you should not put the child or the new mother at risk. And that when you bake with soap, right now, the new knowledge we have as a baby is delivered immediately, that that baby allow the things on the skin, the white stuff, allow it, just wrap the baby in cloth. Leave it, the body will absorb it. And it helps the skin of that baby instead of going to wash it away. And let me also advocate for exclusive breastfeeding here. Now. Yes, please. Please, if you are out there and you know a woman who does deliver, please encourage her to breastfeed. And do breast milk alone. Breast milk alone for the first six months is what we advocate for. Don't give that baby water. Don't give that baby multivitamin. Don't give that baby milk. Except it is breast milk. Now, some people will say, oh, the baby cannot stop. The baby is tired. The baby is sleeping. Express. Let's have the milk into a cup and feed the baby with a cup and spoon. How often should you breastfeed? I said it before. For newborn babies, every three hours, feed on demand. But if the baby is sleeping for long, carry your baby and breastfeed. How long should the breastfeeding last? Each session, um, about 30 minutes. Mm. Okay, so you can breastfeed from one breast for 30 minutes and then from the other breast for 30 minutes. So you're spending one hour breastfeeding every three hours. It's a lot of work. And that's why you're called a nursing mother. Hmm. Okay, all right. So this uh, is one area where you see yourself, you're telling the nurse mother, and she says, oh, no, my mom says um, to give water. Oh, if I don't give water, something will be wrong. Oh, they're telling me to give water. Oh, they want me to give water. Please stop telling the newborn, the, the, the newly delivered mother to give water. They don't need water, please. Hmm. The babies don't need water. Newborn babies don't no, need water. Don't. You have... Of water in okay, um, Frances is asking, uh, my sister wakes up at odd hours, 2, 3 a.m., to eat the weirdest things. Uh, before, she would eat normal rice beans, but Jude, now she wakes up and she's eating Gary and oil and all those other things, and she's about to put to bed. Is this normal, please? Very normal. Very, very normal. To wake up at 2 a.m. to be eating Gary and oil? Yes, you wake up at 2 a.m. You want to eat dairy and oil. It's normal. You wake up at 2 a.m. You want to eat chicken leg. You don't even want the leg. You want the bone. Ah. There's some things. It's called pita. Oh. It's a craving that's associated with the hormones of pregnancy. And so the person is eating all sorts. Hmm. It's okay. But there are things that will tell you, even when you're hungry, you go eat. 
that clay, you know the uzu, okay. people go and buy and eat, it's nice, they like it, it tastes good, but it's chivating iron, and it's making the woman anemic. And so, even though you have this clay things in pregnancy, yeah, we also say that you have things in what you want to eat. And so, if this thing is not going to be good for your health, please don't eat it, no matter how much clay you have for it. Okay. 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 All right. Certain things that the uh, pregnant woman should not eat, no matter how intense the cravings are. Those half ripe papa. Oh. With all the lactose and all that have caused the miscarriage. Oh wow! Is there any other thing that you you think <laughs> they should? Because I'm hearing this for the first time. I can just imagine it. How 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 millions of fathers are. Come on, get some lessons. We are the University of Africa to keep us Come.